Hello, welcome to how to set up push notifications for your PubNub application for iOS. My name is Oliver Carson, a developer advocate here at PubNub, and in this video we'll walk through how to set up the mobile push notifications feature inside the admin portal to be able to add push notification functionality to your PubNub applications. Let's go ahead and get started. To begin, you're going to want to navigate to the admin portal located at admin.pubnub.com and then sign in with your PubNub account. Once you've signed in, Go ahead and select an application from the Apps tab on the left-hand side, and then select a key set. If you don't have one created, go ahead and create an application, and then do the same for the key set by both giving them a name. Once you're inside the key set configuration page, go ahead and scroll down to the mobile push notifications feature and enable it by clicking on the slider to turn it on. This enables the mobile push gateway, which is the bridge between APNS and PubNub. The following two features below are called mobile push notifications webhook settings. While these aren't necessarily required for push functionality to work in your application, they are necessary if you wish to receive these events on your own server to capture them for debugging purposes or your own locking. The first one, Push Device Removed Webhook, triggers the HTTPS endpoint when a device token is removed from a channel. If you're curious about how this works, you can learn more at our documentation provided in the link below, as well as in the written instruction tutorials. Moving down to the Apple Push Credentials section, this is where you'll need to add your team ID, your authentication key ID, and then the authentication token file itself. To begin, navigate to your Apple developer account located at developer.apple.com slash account. You'll be using the Apple Push Notification Service, or APNS, as the push service provider to deliver push notifications to your application. The first thing you need to do is create an APS authentication token, which is required if you want to actually receive push notifications to your application. Once you've logged into your Apple developer account, go ahead and navigate over to the Certificates, IDs, and Profiles section underneath Program Resources, and then select the Keys tab. Go ahead and register a new key by clicking on the plus sign and giving it a name. Go ahead and check the checkbox to enable the Apple Push Notifications service, and then click on Continue. Go ahead and click on Register, and then download your key. As the warning says, you can't re-download your key after you've downloaded it the first time. So if you lose this authentication key file, you're going to have to need to re-download. The authentication token file will look something like auth key underscore and then the key ID, which is located here, and it's generated by Apple. Next, go ahead and open up your project in Xcode. For APNS to be able to deliver push notifications to your application, you're going to need to uniquely identify your application and enable the push notifications capability in the Xcode project. Once you've opened up the project in Xcode, go ahead and sign in using your developer account if you have not already done so by clicking on Xcode, Preferences, clicking on Accounts, and then signing in. Next, go ahead and click on the Getting Started project and in the Targets section, click on the Project, and navigate to the General tab. In the General tab, go ahead and enter in a unique bundle identifier by appending something like dash push, as you can see here, at the end of the ID. This is important because APNS identifies your application in a provisioning profile by combining a team ID, which is generated by Apple, and is located underneath the Signing and Capabilities tab, underneath the drop-down team list, and then combines the bundle identifier, as you can see here, to create an explicit app ID, which is used to be able to use certain capabilities, such as publishing to the App Store, and also, more importantly for application, receiving push notifications. Go ahead and click on the Signing and Capabilities tab and ensure that the Automatically Manage Signing checkbox is enabled. This, the correct team is selected underneath the drop-down list, and then the bundle identifier matches that as it was in the General tab. Next, go ahead and actually add the push notifications capability by clicking on the plus sign and then searching for push notifications in the capability search list. Please note, I've already added it to the application, so it's not going to appear again. However, it'll appear on the left-hand side, and then you'll double-click to add the push notification capability to your application. Next, we need to add a few packages as this application utilizes the PubNub Swift SDK and chat components for iOS libraries. You can add these packages by clicking on File, Add Packages, and then go ahead and enter in the following package URL, which is just a link to PubNub's GitHub repository, chat components-ios. 
go ahead and select the chat dash components dash iOS package and click on add package and ensure you select both package products and then click add package. I'm not going to do so as I've already added these packages to the project. Navigate then to appdelegate.swift and ensure that the PubNub library is imported and then add the user notifications library by importing it yourself. Go ahead then and connect your physical Apple device to your computer. If you've never opened up your physical Apple device in Xcode before, it will ask if you wish to register your device to your account. Go ahead and do so as it will actually automatically add this to your certificates, IDs, and profiles, and then underneath your device section for you. Once you've got that connected, you should be able to see that you can deploy this to an iOS device, in this case, my iPad. Once you've downloaded your auth key, go ahead and go back to the key options page. Go ahead and upload your token file that you've downloaded earlier. You'll need to manually enter in yourself the team ID and the auth key ID fields, which can be found in the Apple developer account. Go ahead and copy the key ID on that same view key details page and the auth key ID field. And then to find the team ID, go ahead and click on your account, click on view membership, and then click on the membership tab. And then you can find your team ID located on this page. Go ahead and copy that, add it to the team ID field, and go ahead and click on save changes. And that's it. You've successfully created an authentication token file located on your Apple developer account by creating a key. And then you've successfully prepared and prepped your iOS environment to be able to begin implementing push notifications inside your application. Hopefully you learned something today and please feel free to reach out to our support or sales team in case you have any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching and have a great day.